Hey, Casey Page here. And this video is going to be a quick start video if you just signed up for iTracker or if you're new to iTracker and you just kind of want to get a quick video on how to get started. This is a good video to watch. So to get started, I just signed up a new account. And if you have multiple accounts, you'll see your other apps in this drop down and you can set a default account. So when you log in, this will be the default that you're logged into. Now the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to put in our API key. So you can click on this shortcut link, uh, log into Infusionsoft, and go down to API. If you don't have an encrypted key, you'll probably have to type a passphrase and save it and grab your API key. So put that in, and then go to the next step, which is creating custom fields. So iTracker uses seven custom fields. Uh, you'll have to create these fields. If you want to put them under like an iTracker 360 tab or header, what you'll need to do is log into Infusionsoft first, create a tab, and this is optional, but I like to do this just to keep my fields you know, organized. So I'll create a tab called iTracker 360 and then a header under that, and we'll just call those like tracking fields or something. And we'll do iTracker 360. So now that I have this tab and header created, here I can reload the tabs and select iTracker 360 and create these fields for me. Now if you're running short on custom fields, like let's say you have 97 fields already created and you just want to create maybe a few of these fields, I would recommend doing the source, medium, and campaign. Um, the source would be the most important field because we do look at that field specifically for some you know, things and then the medium would be the second important and then campaign would be third. If you want to do geo tracking, you'll need an IP address custom field. If you already have some fields, like let's say you already have an IP custom field and you want to use that one instead, go to our advanced custom field setup and then that gives you full control on doing you know, each field individually or whatever. And there's a setup video on that page as well. But I'm just going to keep the you know, standard fields and let iTracker create these fields for me. So once that's done, you can go to the next step, which is basically we, we need to add the iTracker 360 JavaScript snippet uh, to, our work, to our page. Uh, so if you're using lead pages or something like that, you'll have to use the snippet. So you can copy this to the clipboard and then you know embed that on basically every page of your funnel or your site. If you're using WordPress, we recommend just to download our WordPress plugin and then use your API key or your license key. So I have a WordPress site set up and I'm just going to show you the plugin in there. So I'll just log into that. So once you install the plugin, there's a settings option here and then an iTracker 360 tab. Uh, so just paste your plug your key in there, hit save, and that should should do the rest. So you should be good to go at that point. So once we detect that we, you know, once we detect that um, we found your snippet, then you can go to the next step. If we're having troubles finding your snippet, you might just clear your cache. So you make sure you clear this hosted app data and then just clear the browsing data and, you know, do the beginning of time. That'll, that'll help if we're having trouble locating your snippet. Most of the time you don't have to do that. So just hit next, go to the tracking test and we, we detected uh, this URL as having our eye tracker snippet on there. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to add some tracking data to your link and we want to be able to capture this data. So most of the time the source would be something like Facebook or Google AdWords or you know some pay-per-click ad or something like that but for this we're just gonna put some dummy data in here and we're gonna open this link and we're just gonna give it a quick test. So for me, I'm just going to click get started and I'm going to go to my free version and I'm just going to submit a lead. So I'm going to do test 110 at test.com and hopefully uh, iTracker 360 will collect the tracking data for that lead. It will send it into our iTracker stuff and we'll sync it up. So we detected that lead, so we should be good there. We'll go to the API sync page. So we have the data and we're just basically waiting to pair this up with a record and push it into your Infusionsoft account. So just to show you what that looks like, uh, we'll open up that record 
inside Infusionsoft. So here's that test 110 lead that we just submitted. If you're using a standard Infusionsoft form, uh, which that was a standard form, um, you should get the lead source set uh, instantly. If you're using something else like Gravity Forms or something that's like you know not a standard Infusionsoft form, that the lead source will not be set immediately. We'll ha you'll have to wait for the API sync process to finish. That runs on a every one minute schedule with a uh, 15 minute retry interval. So once we have the lead source set, your custom fields should be set as well. Uh, now that's not going to happen immediately. We have to wait for the you know the sync process to happen, but this just so happened to finish while I was talking. So if it's not instant, don't don't think it's not working. Just go back to the API sync page, reload this page, and just see if um, you know if we've paired it up yet. So this one we actually did pair up. We pushed it in, and now we're we're waiting on this HTTP post back to happen. So in this post back. Here's what's about to happen. We're about to apply some tracking tags, and we're going to also apply the city, state, postal code, and country, which is their optional address fields. We're going to use the IP address, which is this IP address, and we're going to populate that. So let me show you where you can manage those settings. If you are using the free version of iTracker, you're going to get some sync credits every month. So we'll sync up, you know, some contact. Rec we'll sync up this data with the contact, but you do not get the geo IP tracking in the free version uh, because we use Maxmind.com, which is a paid IP lookup service. Every time we look up an IP address, we pay a fraction of a penny for that. Uh, so that is not included in the free version. But we will push this other tracking data into your account, and you'll get so many sync credits for that. If you're using the ultimate license, like I am you'll have unlimited sync credits and you get the geo tracking as well. Uh, so we're waiting for this HTTP post back to run. If you want to trigger it manually, you're able to do that. You can copy this URL, send a post back, you know, using an action set. Uh, I have some other videos on how to do that. I won't get into that, but this little post back is triggered automatically, but you can trigger it, um, you know, yourself if you need to. So if you go to the advanced settings, uh, currently, I'm using this option to set my lead source. So I want to use this the source, medium, campaign, the keyword, and content. So I'm getting the most detailed lead source possible. Most people don't want you know that many lead sources being created, so they might just go with option one, which is the source, medium, and campaign, and that happens to be the default option. But you're able to ch you know change this to whatever option. If you don't want us setting lead sources at all, just choose option six. Um, and then here's what the uh, that test you know link that we created when we were testing iTracker. These are this is what the lead source would look like you know depending on what option you use based on the tracking data that we had set. So this is for your lead source settings. You can watch a video. So all these links should have video settings up here. So the geo tracking I, I already have that turned on. I'm setting the optional address field and I'm also capturing the time zone for those people. So I'm not going to go through the rest of this stuff, but there's there's basically videos on each of these links. Um, most of this stuff will require the iTracker 360 Ultimate version. Uh, so you'll need to upgrade if you want to take advantage of some of these features. So if we go back to the API sync, this post back has finished and the contact was updated. Uh, let's let's just check out this record now that we know that everything is finished. So the, the lead source was set, as we saw. The custom fields are set. If you look at the address, here's the city, state, postal code, and country. And if you look at the tags, it looks like we applied our iTracker split tags, which basically takes the values in each of these custom fields, and we can apply individual tags. So the custom fields will get overwritten each time somebody submits a web form. Um, and then the tags, you'll just get, you know, more and more tags added as they come through with different tracking links. So the tags won't be overwritten, but the custom fields will be overwritten. Um, the lead source will never be overwritten because you can't overwrite a lead source. And that's how the lead source field is, is designed. It's designed to not be overwritten. So you know the original point of entry, the custom fields um, are like the last point of entry, and then the tags can be like basically every point of entry. 
So we have an eye tracker 360 category, tag category, and that's the source, medium, and campaign. That's what we refer to as the tag, the lead source tagging. And then we have these split tags where we split the custom fields out into their own individual tag. You can also have a country tag that says, you know, United States or whatever, you know, country they're from if you, you enable that. For this account, I, I don't have that enabled, but you can go into the, um, the advanced settings and configure country tag tracking. You can also configure the tag based tracking and also the split tagging. So if you want lead source tagging enabled, just check that. If you also want to break out each individual field into their, you know, their own tag, go ahead and enable that if you want. Uh, if you don't want any of these tags, just, just disable it. So that's, that's how that works. And once you have a bunch of lead sources being created, we do have a lead source organization feature that allows you to kind of consolidate your lead sources. So if you get, you know, two or three different lead sources that should be basically just one lead source, we can automatically reassign lead sources if you set up this lead source pushing and uh, lead source organization tool. So I would recommend watching the quick start video on that. There's a lot of detail and you know how to set that up and how that works. Uh, so once you have this part set up where you're collecting tracking data um, and you're, you're getting the IP address, you got the geolocation data, you've configured iTracker the way you want it, then at that point, what you'll want to do is probably build some custom URLs if you're using something like Google AdWords or Facebook or something like that. So for instance, I'm just going to load this, this URL that I've already built that points to that page and let's say I created a, an ad that was in my Facebook newsfeed the campaign was in Fusionsoft the term was not applicable and the content was like let's say a developer contest or something like that so your source medium and campaign would be something else um, but it's basically what data do you want to collect when they click on that link you know what do you want to know what do you want the lead source to look like what do you want the custom field to look like and things like that so you can shorten the URL, and if you shorten the URL, you'll get this short URL. And if you're using the short URLs, you can have you know, all-time click stats, monthly, weekly, daily, or the last two hours. And if you want to update the click stats immediately, just click Update Click Stats. We'll reach out to the Google Click Analytics API, and we'll update those click stats immediately. So that's just a quick overview of iTracker 360. There's still a some other features that I didn't cover so just look for the eye tracker 360 videos and help videos and stuff and reach out to support if you need some help thanks